dipper. Slap it in. It's gone. Straight away. Straight away. Beautiful golden rod. guys, welcome to another episode of Hooked. Today you join me down at Pullbridge Farm. We're on the old course lake. We're going to be doing a bit of shallow fishing on the pole. I'm looking to catch rudd and maybe the odd carp or two. I've got a few maggots with me and some four mil pellets. I'm going to try those on the hook and uh, see how it goes. Down the inside, just off to my right, I've fed a corn line with a few pellets and I've done exactly the same about four metres across on the left hand side of me so hopefully we'll get into maybe some bigger carp later in the day I'm just going to leave those for now keep topping them up and then i'll have a look at them shortly we'll get some fishing done right after this <music> Mega windy out there today. Just slapping that rig over. Boom. Straight away. Fish on. Nice rod. Fish of about four ounces. Beautiful colours on them. Just feeding a few maggots in and the wind allows me to swirling around like mad out there today That's absolutely ridiculous. Just slap that rig over. Fish on. Ooh, popped it off. A little bit too aggressive there on the strike. It's definitely wild. 45 mile an hour winds forecast today. And I would say it's probably gusting at that right now. Just missed a bite there, saw the fish under the surface. Steady. You can see them flash in. Now I've put the sunglasses on. You can see them flash. You slap that rig in, come in at breakneck speed. Just keep that bait going in. There they are, they're all up on the top.
Dos. Just trying to build the peg right now. Keep the activity going. Hopefully lure a few carp in. This wind gets worse. I may have to try and fish shorter. I'm trying to keep the feeding the bait short. And bring the fish towards us. Easier said than done. There's definitely fish closer. I'm going to take a section off. Come in a little bit. get rid of the catapult and start feeding by hand now there's some big rud down there you can see them moving under the surface when I throw the throw the maggots in they're coming straight up for them oh, come here stuck in the hedge behind me with the pole Nice little rod. So we're down to about nine metres of pole now. Oh, there's a couple of great big carp just swimming past the end there. Not interested in feeding though. Whether we can entice any later. There's an awful lot of silverfish out there though. They are mopping these maggots up. They're crafty. We've got one handful of maggots in over the top, keep them going. Pull that fish out of the peg. Lovely roach. It's a nice fish. In some regard, this is similar to what we were doing with the pellet waggler. Just fishing shallow when we're out at Brafferton. But we're just doing it on the pole instead. And slapping in and just trying to create some noise. Tempt them into biting. I've just seen a couple of carp come down the inside margin here towards where I fed that corn. So I'm hoping. We're going to start getting some big fish settled on that. Check them out on our inside lines. If we don't catch snare one up in the water. That's a lovely rod. Beautiful fish. <coughs> Probably the best part of six, seven ounces. Come inside to eight meters now. These fish are willing to come close, so there's not much point persevering fishing further out for them. Quite adept at getting these maggots off the barbless hook of these rod. Give me 
a little bit infuriating at times. Small fish this time. Perch. Taking the nugget again. Sometimes look these on sideways just to try and make them look a bit more realistic. You know, so they fall through the water better. I was losing a lot off like that, so I went back to traditional way of sticking them on. Trying to get them better ones out. inside to seven meters the wind at times is absolutely wild the fish have come a bit closer in so this will make it a little bit easier to uh, control and catch them there we go Ooh. lost him That's it. Just fading over the top. Beautiful fish. Time it casts. I should say I've got a time my feet. This wind is horrendous. Oh, lost a good one there. 
Yeah, there's some big ones coming in now, John. There we go. Beautiful. Nice fish. Come in a lot closer now. Which is good because wind's bad. <laughs> Yeah, it's a rod. Oh. <laughs> what a man. Food of champions. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Lovely fish. Look at them beautiful rub them. Deadly in it. F ones then. I probably did like <laughs> We never fish anywhere where you can go pellet waggler fishing or out. Look at that bad boy. They're a beautiful fish, apart from their ugly mouths. Kick a little perch. Yes. Great fishing. Wind is insane out here today. Another dog roach. Beautiful. Colours of him glistening in the sun. Just keep smashing that feed in now. Flicking over the top. There we go. Some quality fish coming in now. Another cracker, John. Fish, oh, it's a perch again. Swing this one. Crazy wild out here. Let's keep that feed going in. Slap it in. It's gone. Straight away. Straight away. A small one. Just started threading the maggot a bit. It's keeping on the hook better. If you can see that. the hook down into the maggot and uh, threading it on slightly seems far more effective there we go straight back in for another fish great surface fishing this oh big fat juicy rod 
They don't get much prettier than that, guys. What a cracking little fish. Yeah, they do seem to be dropping down a little bit deeper now, so I'm just going to uh, deepen back off a couple of inches. A couple of inches at a time to we'll try and connect with some fish. a bite. There we go. Hooked itself. Decent fish. Nice fish. That's a belter. What a fantastic roach. If you enjoyed today's video guys, please consider subscribing to the channel. Give me a thumbs up and hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss a video every time I upload one. There we go. You slap that rig in a couple of times and bang, I hit it. In the come. Another chunky rod. Pretty as a picture. Bosh. Another nice fish on. Yeah, it's going somewhere, this one. Oh, it's a roach, it's a cracker. Oh, it is. Absolute dog roach. Or is it a hybrid? I think it may be a hybrid, actually. Yeah, it is. Um, it could be a true bream that one actually. Beautiful colours on them. I had one earlier today and it looked like a uh, a cross between a rud and a bream. A rud bream hybrid. Well, not the biggest fish in the world but certainly pretty. I'm putting some bait through the swim now. Yeah, there we go. Tricked another. Very small fish this time. Couple of ounce rod. Welcome nonetheless. Yeah, another fish. A little bit fatter rod. They're greedy these, really greedy, oops, covered me in slime, he's a slippery boy, perfect.
Right, I think I'm just going to top my lines up now for the carp. Hopefully we'll get something on the go later. So, let's get the feeding cup out. Another handful of pellets in. Might as well start getting a carpet down now. Good help in the corn. <coughs> Run that down to our right hand side again. And then we'll put one out on the left. I'm just fishing over the top of the reeds here. Not that I've looked on it yet. Right. We're going to try and get a bit of uh, a few more fish up on the surface. And then have a go down in the margins. Threading that hook right down that maggot. Seems the best method of uh, keeping it on today. These fast biting roach and rud. Don't take it off. Slap around. See what's waiting. Certainly something still there. Fighting a little bit first. Oh, wind's blowing at me now, so it's making feeding by hand difficult again. Just going to have to time when we throw out. That's it. We've got one on. Beautiful, nice fish. Yeah, he's just trying to get on the weed on the inside to perch. Oh, good fish. Nice fish. You can see where you call where we call this one the old coast lake. Even though it's got cap in it, there's plenty of uh, your traditional coast fish to have a go at. That maggot still looks good. difficult spinning the rig in the wind now oh, that was a good bite but we missed that one more often than not they just hook themselves if they're a, a good fish just try and trick them into a confident take some better fish coming in here now as well just seen a few what might look like carp on the inside. I'm just contemplating having to go at the margins. That's another perch. Well, we're going to give it another 15 minutes at doing this and then uh, have a look on the carp lines. Maybe a little bit early for them. Quarter to three in the afternoon. Well, the bite straight away as soon as it dropped in there.
see these fish come up, swim up and then swim back down. That looked a good fish that just uh, moved my float then. Just a baby. Big, big carp just swam past, but they, they just don't seem interested. They're just cruising around on the top. We have to uh, catch one of those on the bottom, on the inside, if we're going to get one. Fish on. Another perch, by the look of it. Oh no, it's a roach. Chunky fish. Beautiful. Nugget still looks okay. Oh. Yeah, I was just waiting for a bite there, but as I fed, we got it. Small perch. Waited for that bite, slapped over, waited, came up and took it. Nice roach. Another beauty. Fish on. That rod. Chunky little things. not to feed this time, just see if we can get a fish, messing about a little bit, let's feed, slapping over the top, up they come, ooh, they are quite wise these fish, wind whips up out of nowhere just snatches the pole it's swirling all over the place okay a couple of minutes we're gonna have a look on the carp line give this inside line a rest just struggling to hit a bite now there we go stop feeding left them with the only option and being my maggot. And get one of these fast biting rod.
beautiful. Right guys, I'm going to have a look down the inside now. So, we've got a Drennan cap, one foot, 0.4 gram. She's set up on 0.17 pound Preston power reflow line. We've got a bulk of six stops down there just to take it down. One tiny little dropper and a size 16 hook which we're going to put a single grain of corn onto. See if we can't grab a cap. Elastic in this rig is a 14 hollow. So I'm just looking down on the right hand side, margin line, single grain of corn on. So far, nothing. Well, we don't appear to be getting a bite on this. I'll move to the left hand side. Difficult to see for all the reeds swirling around. It's not really looking promising for a bite. No, I think we'll call that a day. We'll go back on the maggot rig. Cracking road. catching them really.
They're just getting bigger and bigger. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to catch roach and rudd shallow on the pole. It's been a little bit disappointing not to get a nice big carp out, but you can't complain when you're catching silverfish the quality of these. If you did, consider subscribing to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget, hit the notification bell, and that way you won't miss a single video every time I upload one. Thanks for watching, and as ever, until the next one, tight lines.